aka cross effects aka chosen effect back on the deck getting ready to wreck the set and don't you forget what's up guys welcome back to the channel Welcome back to the channel. Always a pleasure to be rocking along with all you beautiful people around the globe. Family, what's going on? What you talking about, Willis? What's up, family? Welcome back to the channel. Always a pleasure to be kicking out a notch all you beautiful souls around the globe. If it's your first time, consider subscribing and join the family. We'd absolutely love to have you. All right, guys, look, we're back with another status quo request. This one's from Gary H. The name of the song is Mystery Song. We're diving in. Mystery Song, let's get it. Without further ado, for me, Gary H., and all of you, it's time to get off tap. freaking love the way that they've laid this out i mean it's very kind of predictable in the sense of what the expectation of like okay here comes a big part i can feel it like i can really feel the song if you notice look at my hands and if not go rewind it and watch because i was feeling it i was listening to the song i was really feeling it. i was feeling where that stop was going to come where that little bit of a pop was going to come and it's just feeling man and that's something about status quo is that they know how to make you feel to really feel connected engaged with the song they write the songs in such a proper way that it's also you know that kind of expectation of okay i feel that's coming and that's just from me being a professional songwriter singer artist producer all that like it, over you know years and years and years of doing music Sometimes that predictability factor starts to become second nature, but great groups know how to make you feel that regardless of your musical background. They just know how to get you invested and connected so that you can feel your way with them through the journey. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. These guys got it all figured out. I love them. Let's continue. to a point where you know your bandmates so well 
that you just can't help but starting to sound like you're one. And that's a beautiful thing when you get that type of synchronicity where you actually start performing as if you're one body and everyone's just an extension of said body. So you've got, you know, everyone working together to accomplish, accomplish, <laughs> accomplish, what the hell did I just say? Accomplish your, you know, goal, your objective, which in this case is to freaking make one hell of a song. <laughs> Love it. Let's go. party man like seriously this song is that song you put on when you want to get everybody hyped up i mean you want to get everybody feeling like just like having a great time certain songs can just raise the room temperature up to that right just nice and perfectly ambiently dope feel you know what i'm saying and some people don't know how to do that they just keep the room nice and cold and it's like yo dude can you turn the heat up turn the heat up a little bit because we want to party but yeah you just making it all cold and freezing and uncomfortable <laughs> but not status quo man where do you guys rank these guys where are you ranking them are you putting them in your top five what i need to know man top five top ten where does status quo live in your head put in the comments below because I'm curious, they surely there's somebody's top five. There's surely someone's top five. They gotta be. Type five, top ten. Top five, top ten. There's no way they're not in I would say everybody's top five, top ten. They gotta be, man. They gotta be. They're so good. They're so tight. They're so perfect. They're so full of energy, man. And this is this is a thing, man. Like when you can bring it. And just make people freaking just absolutely feel like I can't get enough of it. I'm addicted. I'm look, I have a problem. I'm addicted to the quo. Like when you've got that happening, man, you you've won. You've won the game. You've absolutely created the one thing that all of us artists love, and that is a real fan. Dude, you listen to these guys once. You're hooked. You're addicted. You're a real fan. Prove me otherwise. Someone out there tell me that's not the case for you. I, I bet you I will not get one comment unless you're intentionally lying to yourself and lying to me and lying to your family. Don't lie to the off tap family. Please don't lie to your family, guys. Because <laughs> you're lying if you tell me that you don't feel like the quo want to make you blow, want to make you go want to make you flow
All right, let's go. I, I just dude they freaking changed that up nicely it worked it flowed it worked nicely it wasn't even that dude was not i wasn't expecting him to go back to there i thought they was getting ready to wind it down for sitting this taking you on a freaking nice beautiful journey man this is what i'm talking about and i figured out who the co is not for if you're that person who goes to an amusement park and you're that one ride wonder who's like, yeah, I'm just gonna do the Rudy Loop. That's the only ride I ride. I don't do anything else. I just ride Rudy Loop, you know what I mean? <laughs> if you're that person who waits three, four hours to only ride one ride, and you're like, well, ridden that ride, I'm all done. Status quo is not for you. Cause status quo freaking takes you on many, many rides. You've got to go on all the rides. They're, they're all the rides in the amusement park. If you're a one ride person, forget it. Status quo is not for you. Hey, it's okay. You can be a one ride freaking pony. That's fine if that's your thing. But me, I want to go on all the rides. And that's probably why I love the Quo so much freaking love how they just took us full circle too they went through the whole park they started here at the entrance they went all the way back to the freaking exit back to the entrance again well you know <laughs> it depends how the park's set up or they could have just went from the entrance walked around the whole park and then back to the entrance i mean i guess there's yeah it depends on the park doesn't it huh because some don't like you going through the entrance unless they've got like entrance and an exit Mm, the more you know. <laughs> let's let's finish this off, man. Let's go out strong. Come on, Quo, let's go. <laughs> Family, I'm so glad I waited to do this song. I had a couple requests sitting in the queue. I haven't been feeling 100%. I didn't tell you guys, but I actually got a bit sick. And it wasn't the C word. I think. I'm not sure. You never know, right? But, um, yeah, I wasn't feeling 100%. I, I was not feeling well. And, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where when I'm not feeling well, Especially things I really, really enjoy, you know, which I love doing my reaction videos. But I love certain reactions more than others, like anyone, right? You, there's certain foods you love more than others. 
you don't love all food equally even though you love food everyone loves food but there's certain foods you're going to love a bit more than the other food same with reactions i love reactions but there's certain reactions i know i'm going to love a little bit more than the other reactions it's just the way it is we're all like that right we got certain we all like cars maybe not everybody i know some of you guys aren't car people but that's fine i forgive you <laughs> you like certain cars more than other cars but you still love cars <laughs> it's like that right so here's the thing for me right like status quo i've seen that in the queue and i'm like hmm yeah i can't do that one yet man i, I want to be able to enjoy it i want to be able to savor it i want to be able to taste it's kind of like that when you're feeling sick you can't taste your food right nothing tastes good it's like i know it's just this is my favorite food but it's just not hit the same way it's not tasting right especially you got the c word right uh -huh. you ain't tasting anything you know what i'm saying and it's like i'm not saying again i'm not saying i had the c because i don't think i did but like i said i didn't do a test but i'm just guessing i didn't kind of hard to catch it if you ain't around people but then again you know i have had stuff from the outside world but i do wash my hands and stuff okay this doesn't let's get back on track here we don't need to talk about whether or not i had to see or not because i don't think i did but what i do know is i didn't have the appetite because i wasn't feeling 100 percent to eat my favorite foods the status quo is my favorite foods they're in that list of favorite foods so that's why I didn't do that other one. There's another request in the queue that you guys are probably, I have a funny feeling, going to love it. I think it's one of those songs that it's going to be good. I never heard of it before, but it's epic. It's one of those requests that, like, it's so epic, in fact, that the person who requested it, you know, because it's such a long song, they had to put in multiple requests, you know, to quantify the longevity apparently is going to put me in a meditative state is so long and meditative like he put he he made me feel like i need to definitely be a hundred percent for this one so i was like yeah i'm not doing that one yet either because <laughs> there's just certain ones you got to feel it's like man this must be good this must be good okay all right all right we'll see what happens here so here's the thing and I encourage each and every one of you guys to take a moment to think about what is your favorite food when it comes to music, you know, because I know you guys have your little fandoms out there. I mean, we have them. I've seen them. We've got the Queen fandom out there. We've got the freaking Angelina Jordan fandom. We've got the freaking Dimash fandom. You know, we've got the Marcelo de Pomoy fandom. We've got the freaking Night Nightwish fandom and so on and so on and so on. Um, they're so clear on my channel. It's quite amazing. So it's like, yep, we're the vegetarians. <laughs> we're the beef eaters. You know, <laughs> we're the seafood. We're the Mediterranean. You know, that kind of thing on the channel. It's kind of like that because if anything else is served in Instead of that particular dish that you love, I've noticed those vegetarians ain't going over near the meat. They just not, they're like, nah, bro, we're good. We're not, we're not doing the meat. I get it, but no, I'm not, I'm not going to do it. it. Smells good, but no, no, no thanks. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's quite interesting, man, because, you know, I was doing this song right now and it just made perfect sense. It really did. It was like, dude. This is my freaking favorite foods list of, of songs that I need to have at the right moment to really savor and enjoy it. You have those moments. You don't want to rush through something you really enjoy. Well, sometimes you do when you're really hungry. I mean, I've rushed through a whole pizza in a couple seconds. That's besides the point, but you get where I'm going, where I'm going with this. You know, sometimes you want to savor. Mm. And you just want to hold on to that taste as long as possible. That's what status quo is. That's what I'm getting at. That's all the analogies and all the metaphoric speaking going on. I'm literally telling you how I feel, though. That these guys are absolutely on my favorites of favorites list, man. And I've... A, my list is actually kind of... My list sucks, doesn't it, guys? Because you guys know the family has been here for a minute. I can't help but keep changing. 
I'm one of those people, yeah. I, I, I just love all music, really, and it's easy for me to get distracted with something else that's tasty. But status quo, man, they're, mm, they've really impressed me. They've really impressed me. I gotta tell you, they've really impressed me. I just also, it's just because, like, so far their music has just been that pick-me-up. You know what I mean? That pick-me-up. That good old pick-me-up that you need sometimes in life. Where it's going to pick you up and make you feel like everything is just that much more beautiful that particular day. Not every song does that. Not every song does that. Not every song has that type of... Mmm extra good feeling now you know what i'm saying status quo's got that you know and this isn't some accidental situation this comes from a group that knows how to properly write music to properly write music the composition of the songs the songwriting of the songs the production values of the songs everything from a to z the delivery of said songs the execution of the entire song creation process status quo they have perfected it and my gosh my gosh when we were listening to them in the you know the reaction i did and they were performing like 2014 was it and just seeing the evolution of a band that already from the get-go from back in the day already had it all figured out but to see them take that working formula and continue to perfect said working formula means that you get something godlike and that's not something that every single person understands okay they do not understand that if it's not broke there's no point to attempt to fix something that's not broken there's so many bands you've seen them they had it they were right there and then they went and reinvented themselves for some strange reason i don't know why but they decided that this perfect formula they had, they were too impatient, perhaps. Maybe they was like, oh, I don't know. We didn't get a top 10, you know, hit with this style. Let's change it up and sound more like the freaking Nelsons across the road, who every single other band is attempting to sound like, instead of believing and feeling confident in what they have brought to the party. And a lot of people was like, oh, I don't know. Or... They're doing it perfectly. Times change and they think they have to fall in line with everything else that's coming because if they don't, they will look like odd man out. But sometimes that's what you need to do. Because again, if you are, and I've said this in the past, if you're Coca-Cola and you're the real thing and you're confident in it and you know you're the real thing, you know you did it right, you know you got the perfect formula, you know that you scored touchdowns time and time again with that one formula, why are you going to change and become RC Cola? Why do you want to be RC Cola? No one wants to be RC Cola. Is RC Cola even around anymore? Did they finally go bankrupt? I mean, who in the world wants to be RC Cola? And don't get me wrong, when it's freaking 2 $3 cheaper than Coke, sometimes... RC Cola is going in your freaking basket. Okay, it is. It's, sometimes it's happening. Yo, how, how much? What you said? I can get two. I can get two for two for that price. Yeah, I'm going for RC. <laughs> But that's so funny, but you guys know what I'm saying. At the end of the day, sometimes the real thing is just the best thing. And if it's perfect and it's working for you, the audience, your fans, especially your fans who you've, you know. And I, I've experienced it on the channel. I've experienced it on the channel. I freaking, it's a tricky one though, because... Even though in my brain I understand and I know, like let's let's be real, let's take a second to apply what I just said. From example, I like to lead by example. So let me share. If you've been on the channel, you will know this. I've done over 1700 videos on this channel alone, not counting all my other channels, just this channel. That's 1700 freaking videos where the bulk of them has turned out to be of the reaction variety now the reaction variety because my audience 
has decided to embrace reaction videos the most because that's what they enjoy. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But yours truly made a channel called Off Tap Life. It's supposed to be about my off tap life, not supposed to be about my off tap only reaction life of reactions and reacting to reactions. Never was the plan. Never started out that way. Never intended to be that way. But somehow, thanks to a group called Queen, that's what started it all. And that's what this channel became. It's really, even though I attempted to do van life and completely go van life, and even I attempted to go car life and completely go car content, and attempted to just vlog early days and just vlog my life. I mean, I've attempted a lot of things, but as you guys have come to know and love, reactions are the thing that you guys love the most. It wasn't broken, but again, like I said, this channel in my brain was always meant to be a little bit of everything, so that's what I was tempted to do. And then I'm now back in reaction mode pretty much full time on this channel. I'm even scared to put anything else on here that isn't a reaction of some sort. Particularly though, most likely it has to be music because I've even attempted to do other reactions. And if it's not music, again, you guys ain't feeling it because of the fandoms. Like I said on my channel, I've got fandoms. I've got the fandoms. They don't want to hear freaking me reacting to stuff that I thought Hey, that's pretty entertaining and funny. I think we should go and attempt that. You guys ain't feeling so. If it ain't broke, what will you try to fix? I got Coke reactions on the channel or the Coke of the channel. And if I go freaking RC Cola even too far, even though it's still a type of cola, if I go RC, you guys ain't feeling it. If I go Pepsi, you ain't feeling it. I gotta keep it Coke. <laughs> and that's status quo. Thank you. And good night. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look, hey, sometimes, you guys know, if you roll in with me, you roll in with me. You know I love to sometimes just speak my truth, man, and keep it 100. And I enjoy doing that for you because this is our time. This is family time, baby. This is family time. We are just doing family time right now. This is what we do. And that's why I wanted to wait until I felt like doing family time. Because when you feel like you ain't feeling 100%, you don't want family time. You want alone time. You want leave me alone time. You don't want anyone freaking bothering you time. You get where I'm going. So thank you guys for tuning in. Gary, thank you for the reaction request. And as I said, if you want to do your own, head over to offtap.life. I've got you. We'll drop it in the queue. We'll make it a reality for me, for you. And uh, I love you guys so much. I appreciate you. The support is always appreciated. And I'm going to cook some dinner now. So with that being said, as always, remember to live each moment to the fullest and to keep it off tap. Off tap.
of our love.